Yo, what is good everybody? I'm Full Dogon here, back with another Sparking Zero video, and today we're gonna go away from the funny stuff, alright, we're gonna go away from the vibes and everything like that, because we've got something serious uh, going on. As you may know, if you're like caught up with Sparking Zero news and everything like that, and whatever Sparking Zero is doing right now, uh, there are a lot of tournaments going on on a lot of countries, Europe, I think they're doing South America as well, uh, they're doing North America, of course, a lot of these tournaments, they like kind of showcase the game at the high level and uh, just people to have fun and for them to be like the money rewards and everything like that. We do have the clip right here from the French finals uh, between Shiryu and Helios Tour and something very funny but sad at the same time happened and it's gone through like a, there's a whole discourse about it on social media on Twitter everywhere right so let's just get into the clip right here and uh, see why everything has happened and uh, let's just uh, let's just look at this I mean as you can see I am gonna mute the commentators for now uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's just... Uh, I don't even know how to react to this. Like, at the point, they even cut to the commentators. You can see even they themselves know that this is embarrassing. Like, this is absolutely disgusting. Doing something like this in the grand stage, in the finals... I mean, you can see both of the players are just running away. Ascending, descending, running away, just look, I mean, it's it's insane, and Bandai knows that this is insane. Uh, they did tell us, there's gonna be unbalanced stuff, there's gonna be like, uh, we aren't gonna take the competitive scene uh, the way fighters did, where we're gonna balance, like constantly balance, so every character would be equal, right? And that's fine and dandy, alright? We're cool with that. But the thing that really has gotten people really, really mad is the this right here. So, according to Helios Stewart, who was the second place, the guy running Dr. Jero, he was told by the staff to switch characters. Uh, both of them, by the way, were running Android 19 and Jero. It was a DP battle. They were running some other characters as well, but 19 and Jero were the main characters, as you saw, just ascending, descending all the time. And Helios Stewart only was told to switch these characters. He let the staff know, if I do that, I lose. Which is fair enough. I mean, both of them are using the same cheese strat. If I don't use the same cheese strat, I'm gonna lose. I, I'm gonna lose the tournament that you guys got me into and I'm gonna lose the money. But they forced him to do it anyway, as you can see right here. Which obviously, yeah, he lost the match after that. Do you think this was justified? And I don't think it is. I honestly don't think this type of thing is justified from the staff. We are gonna go to Globku here as well, who has a more like a little more in-depth of what happened. As you can see, what happened yesterday during the France tournament was just unacceptable, and I agree completely. Like, if you're going to have these characters in the game and you don't ban them, pre-tournament, then just let the people play them. There's no reason for you to stop someone from playing a character that they spent like, I don't know, hours upon hours upon hours on perfecting that character, and you just, you're just like, hey, you know what? I know you're like cheesing and everything, you're trying to win this tournament, but don't do that. <laughs> don't play these characters. You know what this actually says to me? This says to me that these guys just, they haven't play tested this game. They went into this tournament completely blind to what their characters actually do, right? Because they're like, oh shit, Android 19 is actually pretty good at running away, preserving key, and just being a c So please stop doing that. <laughs> like, bro, you should have known this was the case before this tournament. And you should have probably banned 19 and Jero if you didn't want this type of thing to happen. But anyway, we get the Sparking Zero isn't a competitive game, but as soon as you put on a tournament like this, you have to respect player choice. I wholeheartedly agree with this. Telling a player to switch characters in Grand Finals is not okay in the slightest. Hilia Stewart was told to play seriously, which he was doing. By the way, he was just cheese strutting the cheese strat. Both of them were cheese strutting, which, look, I don't agree with it. I don't like cheese strutting, but I get it in a tournament like this, because you want to win the money. It's a money reward. So them just making you switch out of the character you're using without making the other player switch just makes it look like they just don't give a fuck about you as a player. They don't care about you going seriously or winning the money. Never mind this, play seriously. What they said was play in a way that our game doesn't look like it's broken, which it is. High level in this game is bullshit. It's gotta be the worst high level out of any fighting game. And 
and I've played connections, my friends play Tekken, and they say that Tekken high level is not this fucking broken. There's a little bit of skill going into it. Not here though. Switch out of Dr. Giro and Andre 20, France is the strongest region in EU, and no one hosting this tournament had the slightest clue about what's strong in Sparking Zero. Uh, they thought th those were joke picks, which is just... It's insane, because you play one ranked game, especially in DP battle, and you immediately know how broken Juro and, uh, and Android 20 is, or I think Android 19? I, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. I, I don't remember the exact numbers of the Androids, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So, he let the staff know if I do that, I lose. We already talked about this, of course, and uh, he does leave a message for Bandai Namco here. Uh, this is the game you built, which is true. This is the way you made these characters play, so you're gonna have to respect the characters uh, and the players themselves, unless you just balance the characters, which you said you were not gonna do, but you still nerfed the Ajirobi, which, I don't know, it's just uh, the whole whole thing is completely like cooked i don't know what other award to use it is just entangled it's confusing it's i don't know what they're doing because they said oh we're gonna go for unbalanced fun we're gonna go for a lore accurate stuff we're gonna go for unbalanced characters broken just so you guys can have fun and then they just stop you from playing the characters <laughs> it's I, I don't know what to say about this man i don't even agree with shot spamming fix your game when we have a patch coming out in december i do want to talk about the patch as well we need a lot of stuff including in that patch key sickness after him his strike has to be nerfed key blast spamming has to be nerfed androids not losing key when they're running away like they were doing in the clip has to be nerfed if they want a balanced tournament where shit like this doesn't happen when you just go and both this is the grand finals bro and these guys are just running away from each other instead of actually playing the game. Like, I don't know what to even say about this, man. It's absolutely disgusting. I've got another clip pulled up right here. Uh, this is going to be after Helios Tour was told to switch his characters. His god was Spopovich. Uh, which I'm guessing is like a kind of like a troll pick from him. Because he's like, you know what? I'm gonna lose anyway, so... Fuck you, I guess. I'm just gonna pick whatever whatever the hell I want. So, you can see right here, I mean... Shiryu is using the same tactic, because at the end of the day, he's cheesing. He wants to win. He is gonna use the same tactic. You can't really do too much about that. Helios 2 has just nothing to do. He can't do anything. Because, as you can see, the key is not going down. Like, I am going to, like, rewind this. Key is not going down for androids. Because they gradually get key back right because you can charge with them so doing like these dashes means that your key is gonna stay in place because you're losing key and gaining key at the same rate so you just you can just infinitely do this shit man infinitely do this shit in the grand finals and just win what i really want to talk about here okay first of all i'm gonna go to the quote tweet by shiryu uh this is uh his account right here shiryu is the finally finalist who actually won the game uh this type of quote tweet makes it seem to me that shiryu used this tactic just to show how fucking dumb it is uh, sometimes he said, I won by just running with androids, fix sparking zero, that fix sparking zero tag just makes it seem like Shiryu went in there to show the higher-ups what the game looks like at the higher levels. And this is not a good look for the game. <laughs> At the higher levels. Alright, I want to talk about people like this now. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there we go. There's the quote. Uh, you don't get to be proud of this. I, it doesn't seem like him being proud. Honestly, I don't think that's what's going on right here. Uh, you willingly chose to make an entire tournament not fun and boring out of some stupid ideology and now everyone is going to use it as some stupid basis to why Sparking Zero sucks. It doesn't. I agree. Sparking Zero doesn't suck when you're playing the story mode. Or if you're on like C5 or B5. You go to the higher levels, you're going to go against the same three characters on single and you're going to go up against this exact same tactic in DP rank. Shiryo is not the one, uh, is not the first one doing this, by the way. It's not him who started this whole thing. There were clips of Android 19 doing this type of shit even before Shiryu was in this final. Like, it's not Shiryu's fault. Community is cooked. I think the community is cooked by people like this who do not take any criticism about this game, which just frustrates me. Yeah, bro, I get it. You like Sparking Zero, alright? You like Sparking Zero. I do too. Loving something is not just blindly loving and defending it from anything. No, that is just a cold following, okay? 
That is not what you should be doing. You should be criticizing something you love, all right? Because you want it to be better for itself as a game, for the players, and for the devs themselves, all right? Just talking like this, it's something dumb. And I've seen a lot of people say like, yo, blame the player, don't blame the game. Why is this guy playing this? Well, I don't know, maybe because the actual fucking game is providing the character to him. Why wouldn't I play a sure way to win money on an official tournament? Why would I not do that? But answer me. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You've got blame Bandai. Bandai was dumb enough to run tournaments with this shit in the game. Exactly. If you don't want these types of characters and these types of boring, non-fun matches, Either ban the characters or balance your fucking game. I'm sorry. Look, I might get hate for this. I don't care. I criticize this game because I love the game. If you love the game and you're gonna be like, Oh my fucking god, you hate this game. You fucking hate this game. Stop talking about this game because you don't want this game to do good. Fuck you and fuck your cult following of this game, bro. I'm out. Thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.